Popped off a messed up mattress, no time for arrest, F handcuffs. So it's basically a double meaning, arrest as in getting arrested by the police. There's no time to be doing stuff that's going to get me in trouble, so F handcuffs. No time for arrest as in no time for sleep. Yeah, you know I mean, that's why I say messed up mattress because obviously I haven't been sleeping well. Yeah, you know I mean, for the mattress to be all crazy and messed up. That's why I say messed up mattress. And what, what's, what that is all about is sometimes, you know what I mean, like, it's not, it's not just aimed at me, but we all have our lazy periods. And they always say that the laziest people end up doing the most work. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, like, you got to get out of that situation. You've got to force yourself out of that situation. If you're procrastinating or you're not, you're not using your time wisely, then you're always going to be in a situation where you're not sleeping well. You know what I mean, when I do a hard day's work, I sleep like a baby. You know what I mean? And I wake up early in the morning I wake up ready to do it again but when you're like you know lounging and not doing the, the right things or not taking care of yourself in the way you should be then you start feeling a bit lethargic and you know what I mean and so the opening line was like there's no time for that mm -hmm. you know what I mean start over press reset and we're going all the way no recess so that that's the following lines after that I mean it's just talking about you know what I mean what can I do to improve myself like you can't always nobody's perfect that's evident you don't need to be perfect, it wasn't designed to be perfect, but, you know what I mean, there's always improvements that you can make, you know what I mean, and you've got, you've got, to, you've got to make those improvements, I know a lot of people will give you advice, and a lot of people will tell you, like, look, this is what you should change about your life, or you should change this, or change that, or don't do that anymore, but you're the only person that can write that letter, you know what I mean, because if that letter comes from anybody else, it's not going to get taken into your spirit as much, you know what I mean, and that's why I say, you know what I mean? This year I'm gonna be a better me. That's a letter to myself. Forever me. You know what I mean? So it's, a, it's an eternal letter. You know what I mean? It's a letter that's gonna last forever. And if it lasts forever, it means it's a habit that I'm gonna stick to. You know what I mean? So that's that's the meaning of that line. Yeah, That's a really interesting one. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'm a big fan of the Enemy publication. I remember on my last album, I got a really bad review. You know what I mean? And for a moment, like, I think the guy that wrote the review, I don't know, his name was Gavin something, Gavin Haynes or something like that. He wrote a really bad review, like, I mean, like, you got an exclusive here. <laughs> Probably getting these lot into trouble. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he wrote the review, um, and it was, um, yeah, it wasn't a good review. I didn't like it in terms of, he said something about, because um, I, I, I made a record that was um, uh, like, a, like a, a dedication to people that had passed away. And he, he had phrased that as, um, he said something about, you know, and a dedication to his dead homies. You know what I mean? Which I thought was really horrible, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, he stereotyped me, pinpointed me, and it was like some gangbanger who had lost loads of friends. And, and some of these people w didn't pass away through the arm of the streets or anything like that. So I was, I was pretty, like, peed off about that scenario. But I remember coming to a point where I was like, you know what, I remember thinking about it. And I'm a fan of the, like I say, I'm a fan of the M enemy, like I read the enemy. Um, and I remember finding the guy on Twitter, you know what I mean, and just to let go of the situation. Mm -hmm. And I just tweeted him, place, literally, literally <laughs> I tweeted him, I forgive you. That's all I tweeted, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I forgive you. And he tweeted back and he was like, uh, sway, like I'm really, like, I know, he knew exactly what I was talking about, which probably meant it was something that was weighing on his mind, like, why did I do that? And he was like, I'm really sorry, I was in a, in a weird place at the time. Or he said something like that, and I was just kind of like, don't worry about it. So that was over, that, that grudge with that particular, not the publication, that grudge with that particular journalist was over because he just had an opinion. It got, it got put out there. And that was it. It doesn't mean nothing at the end of the day. They're not dead homies, you know. They're people, they were loved ones that passed away. It happened, you know what I mean? But for me to hold on to that and to be angry at this guy that I didn't even know, it was worthless. It was wasted energy for me. So that was one of the lines, you know what I mean? So it's like um, that whole analogy of anger and um, the whole dead homies analogy it was, um, what was the line again? Um, pos positive energy when I pick up a magazine, because that's the only time I'm looking at an enemy. So a magazine is what the bullets go into of a gun. You know what I mean? Like you put the bullets in and then, so I'm saying the only kind of magazine I will be picking up is an actual publication. And it's not, if I pick up a publication, which happens to be an enemy, 
I still feel positive about the situation because I let that scenario go. Like you lot were the only people that really get the breakdown unless you're around me of this lyric. But each line in charge means something significant to my story and um, that's the one. So it's a positive thing, it's not a bad thing.